everybody welcome to vlogmas day eight it is a little after 1 p.m excuse me i just self-tanned and i'm about to get dressed after i let it dry a little bit my mom's coming over to help me set up the bassinet and then i'm gonna go to my grandmother's um she wanted me to come over so i'm gonna go see her for a little bit and yeah so i'm starting off this vlog kind of late today but well um I was still asleep around like 9 a.m. and this man came into my apartment. This is why I don't like living in apartments. Given they did send an email, I just didn't see it talking about how pest control was gonna come. And I was sleeping and all I heard was lay down. And I'm like, what? I hopped out of bed or like I hopped up and I'm like, someone's in this apartment. So I called my boyfriend. I'm like, you're not here, are you? He's like, no, but then they left and I think they were telling Bella to lay down. But like, don't yell at my cat first off. That just makes me uncomfortable because like, I don't know. I'm sure he knocked first. I was just sleeping. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I just need to check my email more often. And that wouldn't happen. So it really is a thought. Hey. All right. Whenever you have a mean cat, she just is her own person. That's for sure. Um, about my missed doctor's appointment, you know how I've been having ultrasounds every single Tuesday until I freaking started Vlogmas, and then somehow, some way, I just can't get an appointment. So my mom went up to the doctor's office and was like, "Yo, y'all never called my daughter back. Like, she needs to see her doctor. She's getting induced next week. Like, so seven more days till baby Bryson will be here." All right, I'll keep you updated as the day goes on. I'm just letting my tan dry. I'm making some bagel bites right now. I'm just trying to pick up a little bit. I was thinking I really might go um, clean my car out today. Because that needs to be done. So I'm probably going to do that because I don't have a car seat to fit in there. It is kind of a mess. So, yeah. It's not too bad of a mess, but I just want it to be clean. You know what I'm saying? picking up around here my mom is about to be here she's gonna help me put together that bassinet yeah. i need to wash our bedding he's gonna be here in seven days so i'm like is that too soon to wash the bedding i might wait a couple more days to wash it yeah i'll probably wash it like tomorrow or so so i'm trying to think because I want to just do laundry like one more time <laughs> if possible. So I'm going to do towels, clothes, and bedding. And bedding takes like three loads. So, yeah, I'm probably going to wait on that for a minute. How to vlog, Miss Mom? Hey! <laughs> She's putting together the bassinet. Yeah, I'm eating bagel bites. Mom bought some sugar decorating. That'll be fun to do. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. So it's 321. I wore these sunglasses. I swear. I hate the fact that I lost my other ones. Um and I believe in my grandma's. I am and, So I don't want to go to the car wash. Really, my car's not messy. It just has stuff in it. So I'm just gonna have to get the stuff out. I just hate going up and down the stairs, but up and down the stairs. So I'm just gonna get the stuff out. Really is really what it is. So I think I think that, that that'll work. Um, I'm gonna stop at the gas station for my boyfriend real quick. He wants a freaking energy drink, which is fine. I guess I'll get some ruffle chips. I don't know. But I just picked up his monster and they didn't have the candy out really freaking crazy here. So, I'm going to another gas station. Even though this gas station is like two seconds from my house, I'm literally going out of my way for this case. But really, in more of these classes, y'all. It is what it is. I need that sour candy. Happy. So happy. Are you happy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I got my favorite candy, but now I'm never going to be able to get out of here. Ideally, I would like to go across three lanes, but, um... I'm not quite sure, but I didn't get my candy. <laughs> a nice human, let me go. Yay, so that only took two seconds. <laughs> so it's almost four o'clock. I just got back home. I'm going to sit down for a minute and eat my candy and drink a protein shake. 
Now I need to start messing with the baby area over here and getting stuff put away and things like that. I don't like how people can just look at my apartment. Like we're staring at each other, stare at each other. That's awkward. Just, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm gonna drink a protein shake and eat my candy real quick. I might lay down for another second. Oops. All right, so it's now six o'clock. I believe I should be getting off work at any time, but I was about to put this stuff up. I just wanted to show you um, my great aunt. I have a lot of great aunts, okay? Um, my great aunt Carolyn, um, my grandma's brother's wife, but the brother has passed away. But I've still known her all my life, really. Got baby boy some size four diapers, so we won't need them all right now, but that's good to have. And some baby wipes. She also got me a card with $20 in it, so it's just sweet. I have to go dodge and I'll get a thank you card. Um, my grandmother gave me some infant's Tylenol pain reliever. She said she couldn't find no Motrin. She really wanted to get the Motrin. Um, some gas relief drops. And then some diaper rash paste. So yeah, I'm about to put this stuff up. Look at this seventeen freaking dollars. I don't have a lot of money to be doing all this stuff. Stuff is like the grocery store. Mmm, this is so good. It was so good. Now seven forty three. He's going to turn in his red box movie. I'm in the fire lane. I'm not supposed to be in the fire lane, but it just takes two seconds to see me in my turn. Um, but it's like giving me anxiety. <laughs> and then. We're gonna, gonna go to Dollar Tree so I can get a thank you card. And I'm still trying to think if I want Chick fil A. I really don't wanna spend my money quickly. Like, I wanna space it out. Cause, like I said, I've don't, I'm not working right now. So, when my money runs out, it's out. So, I'm trying to be very careful with it. But, dang, Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. Back at Chick fil A. Long line waiting on the road. I hated whenever I used to leave for work and there would be always a long Chick fil A line. It's like, I can't drive through, like, these people. But I just drove in the opposite lane and just prayed for the best. But now I'm one of these people because Chick-fil-A is pretty dang good. So it's 821. I got my thank you card. And we'll see how long this takes. I mean, it moved pretty quick yesterday, didn't it? Yeah. So we'll see. So it's now 845 and we just left Chick-fil-A. So it really went by not it didn't take that long um for the long line and i got sick in line because i haven't ate much today so definitely threw up all over myself well really i bag that i threw up in but the bag had a hole in the bottom of it so yeah i got one so i can't wait to go home and change y'all i'm so happy so happy so happy are you happy yeah uh -huh. Yo, he likes that Chick fil A. Whoa. <laughs> We've already played twice. Do it again. Do it again. One more time. Here we go. This is our game. <laughs> oh gosh. Now we're going to do it a bunch of times. Here we go. <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. Okay. One more time. <laughs> I love her so much. So much. Okay. I gotta hurry up and get up for she wants to go again. Uh oh. Here she goes. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> so sweet now 10 30 i'm just gonna eat a little bowl of ice cream i didn't want much so just a little bowl and then probably go to bed i have to be up at like eight tomorrow that way i can get ready and go to the doctor's office for my ultrasound and to see my doctor it's my last appointment i'm gonna ask her hold on let me flip the camera i'm gonna ask her double check with her about visitors but i think they're still under the stupid corona thing so i don't think i can have any visitors which sucks 
Because, you know, normally, like, people come up and stuff, but I don't think that's fine right now. Um, I know I can have my boyfriend, obviously, in the delivery room. And then I think I'm allowed one visitor the whole time. And they can't come and go as they please. They can only come once. And Jesse will have to leave the room in order for them to come. And if they leave, they can't come back for the day. They can just come once. It's 45 now. I'm about to feed my cat. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Take my medicine, grab my nightly pickle, and go to bed. Give her the whole can. Is that bad? I mean, she has dry food out all the time. I don't give her the whole can, though, because she won't eat. Like, she's picky. She doesn't like this kind of food, honestly. But I brought way too much of it. And so she's just going to have to eat, get over it. Good night, everybody. I'll see you guys in just a second tomorrow. <laughs> Hold that thought. Let me tell you guys real quick. Oh, like my my hoo ha hurts. Okay, it does. I can't lie. Mmm. I don't know why. Um, pregnancy problems, I guess. But I saw it at the gas station, and we know the gas station lady real well because we go there all the time, and. Everyone has told me, like, you know, it's not that bad. Pushing baby out, it's not that bad. He straight up leaned over the counter and said, It hurts. It feels like your insides are being ripped out. I'm like, girl, what the heck? I was like, that's not what I've heard. She said, well, I'm not going to lie to you. It hurts. And she just went on, and I just kind of cut her out. Like, stop telling me this. Hmm. Thanks. Gee, thanks. Like, <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> um, I'm kind of nervous. Six days left. And I will be pushing my child out. Good night, everybody. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. It is 9.15. Just about. I have doctor's appointment at 10. I'm going to stop at McDonald's on the way. I'm hungry. And um, I got out of bed at 8. But I've really been up since like 6 a.m. I woke up to this sweet girl, Bella, my cat, sorry, you know, meowing, and it wasn't just like a normal meow, it was like a cry for help, literally, so I get out of bed at 6 a.m., I'm like, what's wrong, oh my gosh, her toy, this, I feel so bad, because this keeps her occupied all day long, she would just toss it back and forth, it was tied around her foot somehow, and she was just laying there, stuck in it, and couldn't get out. And so I cut it off, um, her foot, but poor baby, like, it was for real stuck around her foot, and it was, it was bad, like, she was just laying there crying for help, trying to get it off her foot, but she could not have done it alone, so I'm not gonna leave this toy out while I'm gone anymore, because I don't want that to happen, and she'd be crying for help, and... No one's here to help her, you know? But I don't know where to put it, because I don't know where to put it. She's already trying to get it. So I thought about getting a small one and putting it right here, so she can, like, knock back and forth. But there'd be no way to get tied on her. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want my poor baby to get hurt. Um, Especially if I'm not here to help her. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry that happened, but she was such a good girl. And she cried out for help. Not enough so mommy would wake up. <laughs> um, okay, but yeah, I'm going to the doctor, getting an ultrasound done. I just check my cervix, see if I'm violating anymore. I'm going to go to the bathroom and get ready to go. Also, six more days till baby's here. Woo! Y'all, so I'm in McDonald's. It's 9.30 and... I got a biscuit and gravy, my favorite. Yay. No, y'all don't understand. Like, if I had to choose the last meal on this earth, it would be biscuit and gravy, I swear. Well, we just got tons of pictures of our sweet baby. But I can't really show you because I don't want to put a doctor's office on that in this. But we got tons of them. She printed off, like, 20. Here's another one. She said his nose is just squished up against my placenta. This is real life, y'all. 
so it's now 1 p.m. I just got home like 20 minutes ago. I made a couple corn dogs. I'm about to eat them. I'll tell you guys how the doctors went in just a second. Um, let me eat first, and I'll just talk to you guys while I'm on the way to my mom's. I'm going to go to my mom. She's going to help me install the car seat base and show me how to do all the car seat stuff in my car. Um, yeah, I'll just tell you guys what happened in, um, in a little bit. All right, so I'm on my way to my mom's house. Woo! That was a lot just putting the car seat back there. I can't imagine. Actually, I'm going to put it on the other side, though. But, um, obviously there's no baby in it right now, so. Um, whew, going up and down the stairs with that car seat. Mm -mm. Anyways, okay. So what happened at the doctor's office was I'm still dilated one centimeter, which is fine. Um, so my induction date was the 15th, and I chose the 15th because that's my dad's dad's birthday, and that's also my mom's dad's birthday was the 15th, and they're both passed away now. So um, that was just going to be a special day, you know he'd have the same birthday as two of uh, both of my great grandpas well apparently there's too many deliveries going on on the 15th now unfortunately so I'm having him on the 16th instead so instead of it being six days we're back to seven days we jumped right back to seven days but that's okay um a day after his both of my grandparents then that's all right um, I'm just tired <laughs> I'm so tired ask about visitors I can only have two visitors, which means Jesse, my boyfriend, the father, and then my mom. And they can't be there at the same time. And they have to, like, switch out back and forth. So, I'm going in on the 15th, the day I was supposed to have him. I'm going in that night at 9 p.m. to start the labor process. But I'll be having him on the 16th. Holy cow. I only hope that I got that base installed correctly. Oh, I'm so tired, y'all. It's 2.17. I'm on my way home to take a nap. I really should have go get a prescription but I'm tired I want to lay down I was basset at back here oh, and I gotta put together oh the hospital calls we're back at six days again <laughs> um they said they had an opening so I'll go in the night of the 14th and have him on the 15th so that means um that means So that means I'll be in there Tuesday night, and I'll have him Wednesday, so six days. I'm nervous, but I'm exhausted. And y'all already know I had to do it. <sighs> it's my car, if you were wondering. I love my car. I have about this, so it's now like 8, 8.13. I'm at Publix. I had to pick up a prescription. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm getting. Some water. Um, so I had to pick up a prescription. And now I'm getting some water because I'm out of my Your car problem. water. Yeah, it's not spring water. Oh, gosh. No, what kind of water she drinks? She doesn't understand the difference. And then, um, I need some more gallons of water at home. See, I always buy water. Yeah, I don't understand. Purified water, spring water, drinking water. Like, does it matter? Oh, when I tell you I'm obsessed with water, this is what I mean. I still feel like this ain't enough. Oh, whoa. I was going to say, don't put them, don't stack them on the basket. That one's fine. It's almost empty. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the bassinet inside. So, let's do that. Okay, Cerrito, it's an online exclusive. And some nachos. He got the same thing. And some Cinnabons. I have a Mountain Dew drink because Mountain Dew just seemed good. And his Mountain Dew is free because of the rewards. Hey. It was like 10 o'clock. I didn't edit tonight because I'm really freaking tired. So I'm about to just go to bed. I had a long day. I was up at freaking 6 a.m. with my cat to save her. Um, yeah, I'm going to just go to bed. Like I said, I've had a long day. So I'm about to put on a sleep shirt. Um, I'll get up and edit in the morning. I'm going to really wake up early tomorrow, hopefully. Because um, I need to put together a bassinet. I was going to do that tonight, but now I'm just tired. Like I said, I'm exhausted, honestly. So, thank you guys um, for watching this Vlogmas. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, guys.